All right, guys, this video is going to be very different from most of the videos that we do on this channel, but I feel like this is probably one of the most important videos that I probably have ever put out that we have ever put out. For some of you, this might seem super weird, super spacey. Woo. That's okay. Super woo. Yeah. So um, if you need to click off or you don't want to watch this, this video, if it's not for you, that's okay. Um, we are going to get really deep into what's actually happening right now because we are massively under a huge spiritual attack. I think most of us know that this is the battle to end all battles. And I just want to pause for a moment for all three of us on the camera right now. And I kind of want to give a, a bit of a middle finger to the entity that desperately tried to keep us apart because of what we have now learned. And guess what? It didn't work. Here we are. And I'm going to tell you something to this entity, this Baphomet that um, has been using my natal chart. Yes, I know that. I know you're using my natal chart to cast spells, to do black magic and juju. You're not stronger than me. And you tried to annihilate me for weeks now. I have not been able to eat. I physically could not put food in my mouth. That was because of your spell casting. That was because you were doing spiritual identity theft. You were pulling the essence of me for your own nefarious purposes. Didn't work, honey, because you know who helped me? The Palladians helped me. Thank you to Taylor. The Palladians actually came and helped me. You put a tracker in my foot a couple of weeks ago. You know that one got removed. And then you put a tracker in my neck. And that one also got removed by the Palladians. And now I can eat. So it's not going to work. It's not going to work. We're on to you. We're on to you. And um, you're going around distorting this divine feminine when you're not even a female. You're a Baphomet. How are you going to explain that one? You can't hide that forever. Sucks to be you when that happens. And also, here's the thing that sucks to be you. The whole cosmos work off of this idea of free will. I never consented to you using my natal chart. I never consented. So that sucks for you to have to pay that back. Oh, and here's the thing. You tried to annihilate me by using my natal chart. But what you, the devil, will use for bad, God will use for good. Honey, I know who I am now. I know why you're using my natal chart. It's not going to work. You only made me more powerful. And so this is why we are coming together right now, because we know that this is a spiritual battle. We know that this is the battle to end all battles. Your time is done. Your time is fucking done. All right. With that being said, before we get started, I just want to make sure I'm going to, for everybody watching right now, we only are going to allow beings of positive intention into this meeting, into all the homes of people watching right now, only, only, only entities that are here to serve us, to help us help humanity reach its highest good, beings that follow service to others, not service to self, all entities that are here to deceive, to distort, to commit any type of crimes against the light that God, that source has created, you are not welcome here. You have to leave. You are not welcome in our homes and you are not welcome on this earth anymore. You have to leave. And with that being said, welcome Taylor Moon, the person that we were trying to get in touch with, who by the grace of God and the Palladians, we got in touch with and Stephanie, welcome back. So boy, do we have a show today, ladies, don't we? Oh yeah. Ooh, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm let's rearing and ready to go. And it's important to, I want to point out because we, we know that the, uh, the bad guys will say, because we are on YouTube, so we can't call them by the real name. We know that they're some of their darkest days, some of their most, um, ritualized days are coming up, uh, yes. with the winter solstice. Uh, we know that. And, um, so it's very important that we, they, they try to hijack us. We're going to hijack them that you can't use these days anymore. No more hurting people. 
no more rituals. It's done, done, finished. And I do, I do think the more people understand this and the more people put this out there, which we'll get to, um, all of your spells you've been putting on people, this black magic, I think it's going to start to fade. And I actually have faith in the people that we know are under your trance and your spell right now. I actually have faith in them. You're going to figure it out. What are you going to do when they figure it out? Where are you going to go? How are you going to explain it? All right, ladies, I'll let you take over from here. Where do we want to go now? Wow. Where do we start? <laughs> yeah. It's, it, that's, I think that's part of it too, is we've been collecting this information for, you know, the past couple of days, but it's become this point of spiritual warfare coming into physical manifestation, which, you know, as I don't know if all of us were prepared for exactly what this meant for us, but at the end of the day, I think it opened up some huge, huge understandings about one who we all are and then all we are is the organic humans too. all of us, how powerful we actually are and how we're able to claim our sovereignty too, but also the assistance we have, like how divine is it that we are so protected? How divine is it that we have so much help if we just ask for it for our highest good? So there's a lot that came through, particularly through my channel last night, but I want you guys to move through this however you feel comfortable moving through this too. So whatever needs to come forward at this time shall come forward, right? I actually want to explain too and how we were trying to contact you was also high tech yeah. as well. Yeah. Because it's not it's affecting a lot of us. And so Bryce and I had tried well, you know the story. But the audience, Bryce and I were trying to contact Taylor. Uh, I saw her um, through the grace of God through the Mark Atwood show. Love because of my wonderful friend and viewer, Kristen, um, who also was one of the ones who donated beads to me. So big shout out to her again. Um, she was the one who said, you need to see Taylor Moon on Mark Atwood now. So I went and, and I viewed it and it was like, I know her soul. I know your soul. I recognized your soul. And I had to contact you ASAP and I went on your most recent video and I'm like, oh, my God, you need, to, you need to contact me now. And then I saw, then she sent me a video of you where you were calling out to Bryce and I. And I tried, again, to put, a, you know, put in my information for you to contact me. And Bryce also did the same thing. And it kept getting either deleted or was unable to be viewed. Like, we, I literally had put like five to six comments in, mm -hmm. please contact me, please. And it kept disappearing. It kept disappearing. So I pulled cards on it. And it was the same entity that's been infiltrating our community of um, the divine feminine truthers. And um, the same entity finally, that's, that's filling Bryce, my birth chart and using my soul yeah. essence to cast spells. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So I put out a video. And at the end of the video, I asked for you to contact me. And then Bryce, you did your video yesterday. Yeah. So I mean, this is black magic at a high at the highest level. Yeah. I, I wanted to say too that one of the craziest things about it was trusting our guts too. Like the fact that we were being kept apart, yet we still pushed through because we knew, we knew there was something encoded. We knew there was a reason to connect. But on top of that, too, like you guys like that night I was getting, I knew there was a ship over me, but like, that's fine. That's normal. But I was getting hit with so much energy and it was almost like I had a transmission of your guys is trying to pull on me. So not only was it like broadcasted and amplified in my head, it was looping. And it was like a transmission, like that I needed to contact you guys. It was, it was telep like, it was literal heart centered telepathy. telepathy on top of the amplification from you know, my team too. So that was, that was, it was so cool, but it was also like, holy moly, like they really controlled us being in communication. Like that's bonkers. Yeah. I mean, that's, and I said it on my video and I've said this many times before with other things in my life. I have this voice that will tell me, and I, I recognize it. I know the voice when it tells me to do something, I do it because it's a command. It's not a violent command. It's not like do it now, but it's, it's like a nagging. It's a nagging it feeling, a nagging yeah. voice. And actually this is the same voice I got for starting my channel. And mm -hmm. it went on for six months until I finally caved in and said, okay, I, I'll start a dang channel. Okay. I get it. I get it. 
whatever. I don't want to show my face on the internet, but I, I guess there's a reason behind it that I, I'm not aware of right now. Well, here we go. <laughs> well, and that's what we, when we talk about black magic, <coughs> we talk about uh, spiritual warfare. This is very real. It's yeah. very, very real. And a lot of people watching have been a victim to this type of spell casting and they might not even know it. And there are symptoms of what that looks like. And, um, and, and trusting your gut as well, because I think your gut always knows, but there's always a way to counter it because the light is stronger. And that is why they're feeding off of us. And I, I really want to talk about too, the idea of the divine feminine, because we know, we know that's part of this. We know that's part. We, we are the storm. You know, when Mr. T said, uh, this, this is the calm before the storm. And that reporter was like, what storm? And he goes, you'll see, we're the storm. We're the storm. We're the tower card. Well, me, the and, tower. me and Stephanie were texting each other at the same time and saying pretty much like identical things. And we thought at the same time that we are the tower, that we're so divinely protected and guided, but it's our moment to claim our sovereignty. It's our moment to claim our, literally claim, claim the victory. Let's do it. Why not? We claim it. We and we are. We are standing beside. We don't see. We can't always see them. We're standing beside the Palladians. We're standing beside the angels. We're standing beside all these entities that are not human but are with us. Mm -hmm. How badass is that? An so, animal kingdom, plant yeah. kingdom, earth. Like yes, that's so many things, guys, that's that are protecting so many you. Loving you. <laughs> and, we, and, we, and they, I mean, and we talk about this divine feminine because this entity. This Baphomet that's been messing with my soul chart. And again, I do know why she's doing that now. We, we, we had like a three hour Zoom last night where we got all the information we needed. And yeah. I got off that Zoom and I was like, let's do this. It's go time. You it's know, biblical. it's go time. But this entity that's doing this, who is taking on what appears to be a human form, is distorting the divine feminine, isn't she? He, yeah. it, the Baphomet. Yeah, I've been calling it, it an it? entity. I won't, I won't give it and I won't give it any. And that's the thing too. Like Bryce has been through like a lot guys, like this, this has been some magic, but on top of it, it's entity attacks. Like a lot of us has dealt with this kind of stuff. And again, we're not here to tell you, you guys aren't safe. You are safe and protected. And that's the point. That's the point is we're going to tell you how bright you are, how protected you are. And there's a reason they came for Bryce's light. And a lot of you probably feel like that. Okay. A lot of you guys feel like that. And I like that you said that because this time a few days ago, I literally felt like I was, I was losing my life. Yeah. I could feel my life force mm -hmm. just draining. I was so, I had gotten so skinny that I would lay on the mattress at night and my ribs would hurt. But the reason why I couldn't eat again, because it was a black magic, there was a spell put on me. My life force was being used against my permission to manipulate not just people in a, in, within our community, but also the audience as well. And I had no, I, I, at first I had no idea. And it wasn't until another friend of mine off of camera, who is a high level white, uh, light, white light worker who works countering spells like this informed me. But it still didn't mean that I actually knew what to do because in order to bind what was happening, which you can bind people that are doing stuff to you and it's not, a, it's not violent. You just, so they leave you alone, but because there's so many other souls that are entwined into this one coded natal chart, right. the binding was going to be almost impossible because it affected so many other people and we didn't have their permission. So when I met Taylor and the Palladians came along and, and, and basically took the tracker out. And now I'm getting my, my strength back. And, and I'm here to tell you guys, Taylor's right. I have been literally, I didn't know if I was going to survive. Yeah. I didn't know I was going to survive. And, um, some, a lot of people, when I, when I reached out to people believed me, they, they saw exactly what was happening, but the main people involved who are also under the spell casting don't believe me. And that was, that was the worst part of it, but they're under a spell right now. So there's, that is just is what it is. But if, if I can be that heavily attacked and come out on the other side, it's all going to be okay. Yeah. You just got to ask for that help. And also like, it's parasitic too, because it's taking your power from your birth chart. It's trying to be you that in itself, 
you don't, they don't have power from source. Does that make yeah. sense? We yeah. are all sourcely divine guided beings. We get our power straight from source. Whenever the entity came and I looked it in the eyes too, all it wanted to do was cut off our contact with source. That's like what it wanted because it does not have its own connection to source. It has to parasite off of beings that are shiny and bright. And I call it the yummy magic. They, they wanted the yummy magic that Bryce has. And hers is also, there's something in her birth chart that's bigger than bigger than just, there's a reason this being came for Bryce. Okay, guys. So this is exactly what we're talking about when we say it's biblical this is this is why it's bigger than just this situation and, and the thing is like when we were talking about all this last night i was in shock over some of the revelations that were happening and i think one thing that has put us a bit at a, at a disservice is that Stephanie and I have laughed about having to go into to battle and like have to take a time out to Google, like how to reverse this. <laughs> like, hold on. I got to ask Siri, Google, how do I do this? <laughs> said, we need a white magic book for dummies. <laughs> I know, because we were, you know, <laughs> the, the, the bad guys, they grew up with this. They understand this, but we, we've been taking that, that ability away from us. And I think, but, but then, but then to, to counter what I'm saying to not I'm say to say to, to play devil's advocate, well, we'll say to play God's advocate. I don't know. Um, we have the Palladians. We have our, our, and, and you know, it's so funny uh, a few months ago, or even a month ago before this parasite came into the community, this, this, I don't even want to call her a witch because she, that's because they're, She's not. She's she's a Baphomet. She's she's sa she's Satan is what she is. Um, before this parasite came in, um, we were getting in the cards that we were going to be we were going to start to meet our off world or family. And I'm gonna get a little bit emotional. Um, Me too. About a year ago, I actually kind of put it out there that I really was interested in meeting off worlders for real, but I was kind of scared. Like I didn't want to be I didn't want to be taken off. Like I was kind of scared of that. And because of this situation that I got because I got pushed up against the wall and it was literally do or die. Like, I'm serious. It was do or die. Wasn't it ladies? It was do or die for me at this point. I've, I've been with you since day one on this journey of seeing you getting yeah. pushed up against the wall and coming from not being you and seeing everything. This is real. This is, this is like, I have no words to even describe what has been happening. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. This is something you see in a horror movie. Yeah. But because of it, again, what God will use for evil, I mean, excuse me, not God, what the devil will use for evil, <laughs> God will use for good. And because of it, I got to meet and feel the love of the Pleiadians. And it saved my life. And, and there's, you know, that deeper connection, too, that we're all going to start to realize that we have family, you know, family, right? Like, and, and we have, and even if that doesn't resonate with you guys, animal kingdom assistance. Like if you're really connected with the earth, like we have earth spirit totems, elementals, like there's, there's so much assistance around us. And as the veil thin, thins, this is kind of the time when we start to really realize how connected, how powerful we are. This is like, this is exciting times, Yeah. but obviously it's a warfare too. So that's yeah. why we're telling you guys, that's why we're being super transparent and we're telling you how you're going to counter react it too. And what we're going to do as a team, as a collective too. And that's what we, we're going to declare this together. Like it's our, it's, we can, we can claim our victory. And I got emotional last night because I got my final, this sounds so silly, but I got my final channeling. When I got my final channeling, my entire team was around me, my galactic family, my animal totems, my passed on loved ones. And I closed my book after I got this channeling. So I think after this, I can lay down my sword because I, I know that you guys know this, but I've been attacked by entities since I was a small child, five to six nights a week, leaving my, leaving my body. My parents didn't know what to do with me. And I'm tired guys. Like, but I, but I will, this is the thing is we're, we're tapping into these lyran roots, this lion root too, right now. A lot of us are, because this is where we get our courage our strength and our desire to protect our family because I barely knew them guys. Like they, like I knew them energetically. The second I saw them, you know, you get, you, you guys know what it's like to see your soul family. You're like, <laughs> hi guys. Yeah. <laughs> but that I got emotional and very protective. And I told them this too. Anger isn't like a normal, it's definitely an emotion I felt. Don't get me wrong. I'm human, but it's not my normal go-to, but I was I was angry. Like I was angry that someone I cared about was getting attacked. And, and that's how 
that's how we know we're so connected. But on top of it, like, I don't know, I'm just ready to finish this, like cut the head off the serpents, cut off its tentacles, whatever we have to do at this time. I don't even, I'm ready. Like I'm ready. I'll do whatever. <laughs> Can we talk about like the effects too, that this type of black magic spell casting has on the audience? That are yeah, I actually, it's like you read my mind, Bryce, because I wanted to bring that up and kind of explain to the audience how I felt when I first saw this entity. Oh yeah, we should talk screen. about that too. Yeah. Definitely. So when I first saw the advertisement of this entity um, on the screen, um, I'm not going to name names or anything. Um, I, my, my heart felt like it dropped to my feet, like a gut punch, like you know that feeling you get when either you hear someone you love passes away or someone breaks up with you. It's like that gut punch, that gut wrenching feeling. And it's like my heart just stopped, dropped to my feet, and I got physically ill and needed to almost throw up. Right. Same. Not even knowing sure this so. <laughs> thing. Just 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 seeing the person or the thing on the screen. That's the feeling I got. And we also know several people got that feeling, um, including you ladies and then other audience members, because yeah. I have talked to several people. You guys have talked to several people. I've gotten countless emails yeah. about this situation. Um, and I was the same way. This is before I had any clue that the, in it, that this was what was happening that to me, that this was the, the thing that was doing this to me. I had no clue why I couldn't eat and no clue what was going on. But the minute it popped up, that thing's face popped up on my screen, I felt like I was going to throw up. It was a visceral reaction. And um, we know that there are some people that have watched this thing on shows and have witnessed this thing shapeshift yeah. on screen. Some people, like some people can see it. Some people can't. In my groups, we have been discussing this, and in my groups, I've had a couple of people say they saw the shape shifting. I, um, a few people um, have mentioned to me um, in the groups that, um, and I keep all my group stuff private, but I'm bringing this up solely for a purpose, and I'm not going to name any names because that's confidential. Um, but some people in the group, they also got physically ill. In fact, my group on Wednesday was all mentioning, oh, my God, I got physically ill, too. So, <clears throat> I mean, you, you got to This is where you got to use discernment and you got to listen to your body because your body, your spirit and your body react together. Like that. Yeah. Oh, it was <laughs> this. I mean, I could there's no way I could even watch any of the shows because I had such a visceral. Well, I had no idea that this was the entity that was trying to take my life, basically. Right. And use my life source. And even though every day I stand up and say, I don't consent, I don't consent. It's still trying to do it because that's how it's going to continue working its magic. And for me, and I will say something, I kind of have a little bit of a, of with the Palladians is, you know, as far as like the human side of me, the people that I know that are being affected by the spell casting, I've tried to talk to, but they don't believe me. And, and I know that's part of the spell casting. I, I, like, my mind understands that, but it hurts. Right. It's so hurtful um, when I'm literally watching myself perish and they're not believing me. And I did, I did feel myself being rocked by a <sighs> lady and like, like a baby, like rocked telling me it was going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. Yeah. You know, and you said something, Taylor, that, you know, you just have to see when people are under that type of like hypnotic spell, they're sick. It's a sickness. Like, it's not, not them. Yeah. And, and I think Stephanie said that too. Like we were all getting emotional and it was just like, but it's not them. It's not them. And you have to just remember that too. But at the end of the day, like it, it really did, it did really become physical warfare. Like that's the thing. I was like, holy moly, like the spiritual war turned physical and it, it kind of shook my core because when I dropped into it, I was like, I'm reading a book. Like what book am I reading? Right. Which goes back to the whole, you're watching a movie, but you guys have to remember we're now we have players in the, in the movie. Like what? How we're part of the movie. We're the story. Yeah, we're, we're well, the starring and, cast. <laughs> and let's talk about the, it becoming physical too. Cause we know apocalypse means <laughs> I got my car. You get the Empress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We, we know that apocalypse means to lift the veil. Mm -hmm. And so not only are we, and I've said this on another show before, but not only are we having like more like psychedelic spiritual experiences, 
but they're the, 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 the veil is thinning. And so they're merging together. That's why people are starting to see this, this thing sh- shape shifting exactly. on the screen. And there, it's losing power. And Stephanie said something that really resonated with me too, because I had a very similar vision of like these entities, like they know their time is up, right? So they thrash, they show their teeth. That's what I they're keep in, a in my corner, vision. Desperate. I'm hearing, I'm literally hearing desperate, but exposed. Like it's going to be exposed guys. Like it's, it, it doesn't even have anything to do with us. It has things to do with everyone. Every one of us declaring that like, this isn't okay. We won't do this on earth anymore. Like, no, yeah. <laughs> I won't. We caught who it with a chance. That? Like who in their right an mind entity, right? take somebody's fucking birth chart an entity. and spellcast. Like who, I would never think to do that. Like that would never cross my mind to do something yeah, like that. Good. Like, <laughs> I would never even use my own. I mean, I was trying to laugh about it because my friend um who picked up on it like Bert was really kind of explaining it and I'm trying to keep her anonymous but she knows she was like she was like there's something very seductive in your birth in your birth chart that's, that's luring people in and I looked at her I was like that's not a word I would just dis- dis- use to describe myself so <laughs> tell me more about this because that is not who I, I am not a femme fatale so and she was like well yeah that's because you you would never that's not who you are. You would never, you would never manipulate like that to try to control. And it, and it's not even a ma- manipulation for like human desire. It's t- for them to stay alive. Yeah. They're feeding off of it. That's fascinating. That's it's like, like a, a good way to say it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's fascinating that you just said that. I, 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 I'm yes, that resonates with me. So these entities play on human emotions like love, ecstasy, all that kind of stuff to trap us in because that's how we feel as humans. That's our heart center to feel love and to feel that. And so they're manipulating that in order to control people. But that's not true love. True love doesn't control. True love mm-hmm. doesn't want to control. You know, and so so if you ever find yourself in a situation with someone, I'm not saying that any everybody who, you know, some people are just narcissists, like I'm not saying that they're all like entities, but but you know, that's something we have to remember is that true love doesn't require you to walk on eggshells. True love doesn't isolate you from your friends and family. True love doesn't put you in a place where you're arguing with everybody. True love doesn't put you through that. That's not what this is. In the Bible, it says love is patient, love is kind. Love is kind. Y- you I know, a heart center, like, and that's the thing too, like you guys, you can't control when your heart center emits that kind of frequency, like the heart center, it'll project when it wants to project. And it, it's almost uncontrollable sometimes whenever you see a really expanded heart center too. And I just, Bryce, I just saw your heart center, just me. <laughs> <laughs> no well, I hope and I hope people understand that and I I just you know and I love how you said like they're like the light like we I talk about this a lot on my channel about you know in, in my uh studying of of the missing books of the bible and trying to break down what we have of the canonized bible and you said something very interesting last night Taylor that there's a reason why I'm drawn to these texts um and I'll just leave it at that but uh there is a reason and I was like whoa okay yeah whoa um uh, Genesis one, three says, God said, God said, let there be light. And I've said this multiple times. We are, when we read that as English speakers, we think, Oh, the sun, you can see the original Hebrew word for that was divine spark. God said, let there be divine spark. In Genesis one, four, God saw the light and saw it was good. And he separated it from the darkness. This is why they're feeding off of you, me, us. Yep. You can see it in people's they, eyes. You they can see can't. They can't create the light, so they feed off of the light. Right. It's like um, I was reading uh, on David Zublik's show uh, day before yesterday. We were going through Sri Swami Satyananda's uh, commentary on the Yoga Sutras, and he explained it. You know, like you have an you have like a real apple, and then you can make a fake apple that looks just like the real apple. You might not even be able to tell them apart what's real, what's fake. But if you plant them in the ground. The real apple is going to be able to grow more apples. Mm. The fake won't. I love that. That's such a good analogy. So that's what we're dealing with. We're the real apple. We carry the seed of life, of light. You can't, uh, Stephanie and I are huge uh, fans of the dream clairvoyant, who is another reader on, on YouTube. And she always talks about that. You don't mess with divine ones. You don't mess with divine ones. It's, if she it's, watches it's, us, contact us, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, 
<laughs> hey, so we're going to solidify that contact too. Make sure that goes through very clearly. Okay. How about that? We're just going to solidify that. For it. Reach out to us. <laughs> But I love how she says that. And everybody watching right now is because I've expelled all the, hopefully all the darkness is gone. You, you're a divine one. Yes. You're a divine one. The same creator who made the Rocky Mountains made you. Every freckle, every bone, every hair on your head. As much, as much energy that was put into that Rocky Mountain was put into you as well. Yeah. That's why, that's why they want you. Yeah. It's so sacred. Like I just heard sacred in my head, like the, the codes, how our DNA, how we're encoded, it's so sacred. And we all need to start like looking at ourselves. And and that's what I want your audience to know too. Like start looking at yourself as that divine and that powerful because you are, they didn't want you to know. They wanted to keep it a secret from you, how powerful you are, because they know that as soon as you project your power and take back your, take back your sword is what I like to say. I keep getting sword visions, guys, bear with me. Um, sword, as soon as you take back your sword, they have nothing. They have nothing over you. Nothing. Done. Well, you said, because Taylor, you, you've you been able to kind of meet this entity face to face. Um, the one that's the Baphomet that's doing this. And you said she's shrinking. It's yeah. shrinking. What, what was seen in my head was first off, when I first started to tap into her, she, she knew I could see, we could, it was so, the contact was so clear that it was like, for a second, it was almost creepy to me because I was like, oh my gosh, she's been, she's watching me now. And I was like, oh, but then I was like, no, I was like, no, you can't watch us anymore. I cloak us. I'm done with this. But what they were showing me was as I stood up with like literally my sword guys. And I know this sounds silly, but I was gifted a sword in my mental body with Archangel Michael. And it's this big, beautiful golden sword. And it has vines wrapping around it with roses. And it's my sword. Okay. So this is my sword that that I was gifted. And I had my sword pulled out and I watched her and she's, she's not, she's nothing. Like it is nothing. This entity that has, they're, they're so drained. They don't, they're not getting their loose. They're not getting, they're not getting what they need. And it's like almost time. And Stephanie said this too, like to send out our heart center blast because that's what's going to take it down. And that was right? my vision is yeah. in out. I'll, I'll tell the audience too. I get visions too. And the thing was, I was never aware that that's what was happening. I've had visions since I was a kid. It was more or less. I had to, I, ha- I had to gain the confidence that I was getting spiritual downloads. And so what I saw in a vision, we had a healing session that um, in one of the groups the other day, Um, and it was so unbelievable. And, and I was having these crazy visions and I saw divine feminine from all around the world and their heart chakra lit up this bright glow and blasted the heavens and pinned the devil against the wall while she, she exploded. And that's what I saw. So, And also I had pulled cards on what this rapture thing is going to look like when earth ascends and everything and how we will know physically. And I got in my cards that our heart chakra will light up and we will feel pure, unadulterated, uh, untainted love that is just so magnified that it will bring us to our knees with happy tears. It's amazing. Yeah. So there'll be no room for any demonic entities. On they won't be able no to survive. Space. That's why they're scared. There's no space. It's it's not, they can't, yeah, literally like something just that they, they can't, they can't survive. And now we talked about this a little bit last night about the heal, how, you know, as I experienced when this type of black magic is done, it does wreak havoc on your actual physical body at this point. Um, and so we know that people that are caught in this spell casting we're seeing their physical bodies start to deteriorate and there's nothing we can do. I mean, that's the thing. Like you can try to tell someone, but that's at some point you just have to walk away and let, you know, they have to, they have to declare that for themselves, but we know there's going to be things to do to help heal them. Right. Like once the spell is broken, we can do things to like help get them back to their physical health. And, and, um, you know, so it's not, again, we're not, we're not saying this to scare you guys. It's just more to like make you aware because knowledge is power. Yeah. Knowledge is power. You know, when you know your enemy, you know who your enemy is. Well, we also need to learn too from this war not to do this with our ears. Yeah. yeah. We need, you, you hear things and you take what resonates 
and you leave what doesn't resonate. Exactly. And that's super important. Like we can't walk around with our ears blocked anymore because it, it truth, the truth will set you free. So no, we're not trying to scare everyone. And we are trying to make everyone aware because it we're learning our place on this planet. We're learning our power and part of our power is discernment. And some of us knew how to use our discernment already, but there's a lot of us that are babies in that method. And that's okay. So, yeah. Yeah. But it's all about trusting that gut feeling that they've been talking <laughs> about. That's where it starts. And I always yeah. tell people this when I start working with them. I'm like, your intuition is always that's that first hit that comes in. And then you're like, no, I'm crazy. It's not true. No, no. No, no, no. That's God. <laughs> that's God telling you. Well, it, you know, it's it's so funny because um, I was told that my gut was wrong about the situation, even though I was literally withering away. I'm like, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? But, but that again, that's the power of spell casting. And, and when you're going through that, it's so hard. It, it, this is one of the most challenging things I've been through, but again, it ended up making us more powerful. And I think it's, and I think, and again, that, that entity was the one that was trying to not connect us together right. because that's the last thing they I want is for us to figure this shit out. You well, know? I think there's certain people that fit in this puzzle where when we put our power together, it's, it's unshakable, it's unstoppable, and um, you can't stop what's coming. Like, no, you can't. What, what, what does the 17th call. letter of the alphabet say? <laughs> Nothing can stop what's coming. It's and, biblical. And, yeah. And here we go. So. <laughs> Sorry, I get am to like, because it's like, this sucks and this is BS. Don't get me wrong. But like, we also know what comes out of this and that it's divine. It's so divine and so orchestrated too. But then I'm also, I had to get dropped back into reality because I, I noticed myself, I was looking at this beautiful, broad perspective and I was like, it's wonderful. I've, I'm sorry for those <laughs> who are hurting, but like I'm up here and it's okay. But this brought me right back down to you no know, Taylor. Like you got, you're still a warrior. You still have to declare that like, so do it. Right. So it brought yeah. me back down a little bit too, into reality of how big this actually is and how physical, like I said, it, it became physical really fast for me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Oh, girl. I oh, know. Yeah. I mean, and here's the thing too. And Catherine Edwards and I spoke about this yesterday. What tends to happen as well, especially for people who've been on a spiritual path for a really long time, you see this in yoga a lot. Um, you think you conquered all these things within yourself, these right. ego based like obstacles, patterns. And so you get to a point where you think you're kind of above that. And that's usually when you're hit the hardest. And so you yes. always have to remain <laughs> humble. You always have to remain humble and be in a place of discernment yes. and being a place to listen to yourself. And that might mean that you have to walk away from people sometimes mm -hmm. that you love and care about, but that doesn't mean they're gone forever. It just means you have to protect yourself. You have to, cause you know, what's happening. You see it. It's, it's like, it's like what's going on in the world right now. We all see it for what it is. And we're looking at the people who don't see it for what it is. And we're like, how do you not see this? How do you not see this? Well, there are people in the spiritual world who also don't really see it for what it is either for whatever egotistical reason, for whatever spell cast has put, been put on them. And we know with spell casting, they can control even tarot cards, can't they? What's being pulled, yeah. especially yeah. if you're using somebody else's energy like mine. Yeah. Oof. It's distorted. That's and the thing is, too, I want to bring up, in the end, we're still not God, and we're still, yeah, we're spiritual beings, but we're still in human body. Mm -hmm. So regardless of how spiritual we are, because we're not God, we're also going to be wrong at times. Yes. And it's okay it's to okay. be wrong. <laughs> it's so, it, honestly, one of the most humble things somebody can do is apologize when they know they're wrong. Yep. Yeah. And I would and I, an apology. If yeah, they, I would absolutely like. You know, <laughs> look how you're waving the like a waving a wand. Apologize, <laughs> apologize to me. <laughs> and, and also, ladies, what are we going to be wearing for our battle? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right. What outfit are we going to How are we going to go into the apocalypse? We need to look cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true, though. <laughs> My thing I, I want to share too is when we come out of this, and I've had a lot of visions too of what this looks like. So um, 
Hey, Taylor, I didn't tell you because this was a newer vision I actually got, but um, I told Bryce this morning over the phone is I saw, so first of all, I saw um, what I, I call it a vision session. I put my headphones in, I listen to soundtrack music and it's normally like, you guys will make fun of me, but it's like a Transformer soundtrack. Anything that has to do with outer space aliens and, and you know, <laughs> Star Wars soundtrack and we got Jeez. Iron Man soundtrack, all those kind of soundtracks. It, I don't know. It, it activates me. I'm an air sign. So maybe the, the airwaves. Yeah. It's a frequency That's something I thought of. So um, I've seen visions of what the world is going to look like. But I, what I saw, too, is I saw different places in the world. Number one, I saw Florida inside of a bubble. A protectant bubble. I saw Australia. The angels are sewing together Australia to the United States. Yeah. And I saw all different things with different countries, but um, I saw this blank, this like big whoosh, like you see in a movie, like after like a nuke goes off, but it wasn't like a nuke. It was um, a big blanket of like this lavender and almost looked like liquid, but it wasn't liquid. Kind of like tool fabric, like whooshing like and covering the whole earth and lavender is such a common color yes oh. and um if you look up woman in lavender if you google it the first one that pops up is diana princess diana oh yeah because one of my first visions i had during this war um was a woman in lavender but i couldn't see her face and so i i looked up woman in lavender and the first thing to pop up was princess diana so something about but I also saw like um, like a paradise. I can't even explain it because it was that beautiful. And I know you've seen it, Taylor. I know you've seen because we talked about it. But um, almost like a translucent rainbow mist covered the planet. Yeah, gorgeous. And not and not and not the upside down rainbow, the real rainbow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's another distortion we speak of, right? That's, yeah. that's the thing. And I was gonna also share like what I saw. So I also saw. Well, I actually had very similar visions to Stephanie as far as the the actual, like you look at the air and it's vibrating. And then on top of it, like the water, it has this hue to it. That's even like everything's so like diamond that it like a rainbow is like essence of it. Like it's like the essence of the energy is the rainbow itself, which is so weird because I literally was just like shuffling my cards. And this was the one that really stood out to me today. Oh the God, rainbow bridge wow. extension. And notice how it's in the heart center too. That just affirms everything that you guys were putting forward already. But the great <laughs> gathering is the vision that's been coming forward whenever I met you guys. So the first thing I saw was all of us it, you can be divine feminine, you can be divine masculine, but the divine feminine energy is the energy we're anchoring in the here now. So I just wanted to be clear about that when I speak of divine feminine. So I saw all of the divine feminines across the world gathering together, setting their intentions, like it, and I'll go more into what my vision, like what my channeling was with this eventually, but it, it switched, it, it switched into doing this in Egypt. It switched into doing this at, at the round table. It switched into just all these different ways of doing this. And they were explaining to me that this has been done before. It's an ancient practice been done before, and we're going to bring it back. And we're going to bring it back to this here now moment to undistort and unwind. So they distorted all of like, everything's been wound together in this knot. And what this starts to do is unwind it and put it back into the organic. Oh, it's amazing. Which confirmed my vision is getting a group of divine feminine together to do this reversal. Yeah. Well, let's talk about what I was getting. is. hmm? Let's let's talk about that, about the the liberation, what what the plan is. So I um, and I've talked to a bunch of the ladies on my groups because a lot of them like it wasn't even a hesitation. It's as if it was in their soul contract to do this. They just like knew. It wasn't a, well, I need to check and, and see what time you say to have this meeting because, um, yeah, no, it was a, yeah. tell me when I'll be there. <laughs> and it was like a very forceful, I'll be there. And um, what I kept getting is, you know, the Bible, we know it's tampered. There are bits and pieces in there, though, that I want to say, yeah, the devil probably thought we wouldn't catch on. But he did not understand how many master souls were going to uh, come here, yeah. um, take on this human form that we're in right now and battle this war. And, sorry, I shouldn't have said that word. <laughs> but um, there's one thing that always had stand, stood out to me, and that was something with 144,000 sitting on Mount Zion ready for battle, right? You, like you said, just sword. 
And the thing is, I've had a lot of sword visions myself. I just never told you that, but I did. I've gotten that for about two years now, yes. ever since the, the the bug was going around the earth plane. And so um, I kept getting that this is the return of the divine feminine. It's like return of the Jedi on steroids. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> um, the return of the Magdalene. Yeah. Oh, the order the blue rose. And the thing is too, now we know a certain someone came back as a female, not a male. Um, and so my, it's like, yeah, my groups hold a huge purpose, but I think one of the big purposes too is to gather. I, I got, I've gotten to know a lot of the divine feminine and now we're all ready for battle and we're going to come together during the one thing that they used to use. And that's the full moon. And we're going to come together and we're going to claim sovereignty and we're going to claim that this spell be broken and that Satan, we have the key. We're going to lock him in. We're going to lock him back where he belongs and we're going to do it together. And so anyone else want to take a talk about more about this? what we wish for and bringing in the victory say it wish for it project it and this is going to go full circle into what i channeled last night so bryce and katherine edwards were talking about bryce whenever she needs to get back down to this perfect moment i call it the zero point this is going to be our key our key is going to be the zero point guys so i'm going to try and explain this to best of my abilities um like as human as i can so bear with me um and bryce was talking about her zero point with katherine edwards and for her it was wasn't it like dancing around yeah, <laughs> dancing i think a broadway star like a broadway star in my uh, yeah exactly exactly in my living room my dog's like what's happening <laughs> So we're going to take back all of our tools. So we already began to take back our tools. Like the tarot is a perfect example of that. Um, our astrology, like, like we said, they're doing these practices. Exactly. Ooh, hoo, hoo. They're doing these practices on these using the energy against us because they don't have enough assistance to use, you know, like we get to use the Palladians. We get to use the earth. Like we, you know, we use creator, like, you know, God, we have, we have all this assistance. So our spiritual warfare counterattack is going to claim all of these back. Our move as a collective is taking their dates where they spell cast, do rituals of the blood, I'm trying to say this, or little people stuff. We're going to take those back and we're going to put it back to how it should be organically. And we claim it as ours. And you know how we're going to do this? By infusing how much we care about the earth, how much we care about each other, how much love projects from our heart centers. And we're going to do it by using the zero point. So mass meditation has been a thing that I've seen happening in the spiritual community for a really long time. Meditation is a wonderful tool, but it's another tool, right? We have so many tools. What about the zero point? That perfect moment where you're in this field of manifestation and pulling towards you and your zero point can be anything. It could be going out in nature. It could be dancing. It could be singing, right? <laughs> it could be any of these things. What is that for you? And when you're in that point, the zero point for your highest good and you're fearing pure joy from your heart center, that's when I want you guys to project your intentions. I want you guys, and remember, we're going to do it we're going to do it all together, right? But remember that we're in a quantum thing. So do it when you feel like you can or when you're in that energy. But I do believe like there's something with gathering too. So if you guys can get with other people, definitely try and do that and do your own ritual too. What's it? Oh, the great gathering. That's been my vision. And I pulled that card along with the <laughs> ever unfolding rose, the order of the rose. Yeah, let's do it. And we and know coming up, I mean, the twin was the 21st through Christmas is like their most potent thank you. time. That's what I wanted to get to was the date. So go ahead and yeah, go ahead and tell them what we want to do. So winter solstice. So we know, and actually it's funny because Stephanie and I had planned to do today to like talk about the roots of Christmas. But when we were Zooming last night, we actually asked if we should go forward with uh, the Christmas show or do this. And it was very, very, very apparent <laughs> that Spirit wanted us to do this. They're like, don't worry about the Christmas stuff. You, you do this. Um, so we know that, and I've talked about this on my channel before, uh, this is coming up to the Saturnalian festival. All right. Saturn is one of our planets. That's where we get the word Satan from. Doesn't mean that Saturn is a bad planet. 
They've hijacked Saturn. Yes. Okay. Saturn is really just like the matrix. It's just like paying your bills, living in your house, doing, you know, just the stuff you have to do to stay alive, but they've hijacked it. All right. So this is the Saturnalian festival. And there's a lot of information on what would happen in the Roman empire during this time. So this time that we call Christmas. Um, so from the 21st, which is the winter solstice here in the Northern hemisphere, all the way to the 25th is the darkest time of the year. It's the shortest days. And the 25th is the return of the sun God, not the S O N B S U N, which most people are aware of that. That's what Christmas is. So we've been taught now. I love Christmas time. I actually have always really loved it this year. I've been a little bit distant from it, but I think it's because, you know, like, some black magic's been done to me. So <laughs> that's why I'm a little bit like, oh yeah. I don't blame you. <laughs> um, you know, and so I was telling Catherine, like, we need to, I don't believe that we have to actually get rid of all these holidays. Mm -hmm. I think we can reclaim them as joyous things because it's getting together with your family. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Rainbow. <laughs> yeah look at that and that's what i was telling Catherine about like we're talking about living your life now like oh, i i have to maintain the reputation of being the cool aunt because i'm the only aunt my two nieces and nephew had that doesn't have kids so i have to be the cool aunt and so <laughs> i got them hoverboards which my sister's probably going to kill me because i got them hoverboards but like i'm so excited i like, want to give them a present now like i'm so excited <laughs> to, to like go play outside with them and that is that zero point that is coming down to pure joy and pure love and putting the phone away and just playing with the, the, my niece and nephew on their hoverboards and and you know making cookies and looking at what they get from santa claus we can even make santa claus good again even though we know santa can possibly comes from some nefarious stuff we can make it good again because who doesn't like to see a child happy right. you know who doesn't like to see a child in the in the magic of christmas you know we can we can cancel all of their dastardly deeds yeah we can cancel that we don't want that shit yeah i don't want that and claim it back that's the thing they took our stuff and they implanted things with it why can't we take it back like yeah. it's a tool just like everything if i my intention is pure free of toxin that's what i mean when i say pure free of toxin um or distortion my intention is pure then why, why does it matter as long as the tool is being used for pure intention and christmas is a great example of that what you get hold your vision hold your vision the oh, end of yeah. the tough cycle approaches Oh, thank, thanks. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Yes. No. And we, we can, we can take it all back. And you're right. I like that you said that because the darkness can't create the mm. darkness cannot create anything. So even pyramids, we think pyramids are so bad. They're so evil. No, these are ours. We created these. These are ours. They mine. manipulated it. Mine. <laughs> it's mine. It's ours. You can't distort this. Put a big amethyst back in it, okay? I know, we can't. You know, it's it's like it's like this this Baphomet who's distorting my birth chart. Like that's mine. <laughs> like it's mine. I'm laughing, but it's like also not funny. But laughing's alchemizing it. Yeah, well, you know what I mean, like <laughs> laughing scares demons because demons don't understand humor. Oh yeah. Like if you have a demon on you, just laugh at it. Well, no wonder like, people don't like don't understand me, boy. Well, that's what they, we see in the narrative. You want to get? They rid used of to call me laugh attack girl in school. Are you? Yeah, that's actually so that's one of my things used to be like when bad things happened. Um, like I would have to I would have to laugh and, and yeah. it was like I had to be really private about when I was going cool. through stuff. Yeah, it's that that carefree childlike energy too. And that's exactly what Bryce is talking about with Christmas and her nieces and nephews and seeing that joy. We need to start getting back to that point too, where we get that childlike joy back and what brings us that right. And that goes full circle to the zero point too. what brings me that joy, right? Even didn't Yashua say, bring all the little children unto me. <laughs> That's wonderful. You know, and, and I talked about this uh, with Catherine yesterday in trauma therapy. My uh, therapist used to tell me like, you have to take care of that little girl now. Mm -hmm. We have to take care of those little girls, those little boys inside of us. We have to tap yeah. back into them because that's who, that's the essence. You know, people have asked me before, like, with the whole idea of this new financial system, which I don't know if we can say the name on YouTube anymore. Like, what's that going to look like? Like, if I don't, I don't know what my passion is. And I always say, well, what'd you like to do when you were a kid? That's exactly right. What'd you, yeah. Were you drawing? Were you singing? Were you creating costumes? Like, what did you like to do when you were a child? That's I like building do. tree forts. That's so yeah. sweet. That's what you do then. Because <laughs> that's when you're a child. That's when you're at that purest connection to, to source. 
and our abilities too. like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like we're able to access all of these things now, but think about the experiences you probably had as a child. And they were like, no, 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 you're crazy. It's just your imagination. That's another part of programming too. We can't blame our parents anymore. We have to now take back our, and be like, no, what? I'm not crazy. I claim that for myself and I am seeing what I'm seeing yep. and I can interpret it now. And, and it's so hard, but it is. We need thing. to have a trust in our souls. Like, the thing is we were ripped of that. Yeah. Like I, I know I've, I know I sound like a broken record, you know, on, um, well, Bryce, your videos and my own, but how many times have I tried telling a pastor, you know, who I am and what I see. And one example, I mean, I know I've talked about this, but there was a part of a dream that I had that I actually forgot about up until this morning, it hit me again. And like, um, I tried telling a pastor, a dream about the, the thing in the arm. Right. And, um, you know, when you're working in the medical field, in the EMR, which is the electronic medical record, there's a there's a part of everyone's chart that uh, tells the last data of the last colonoscopy, the last mammogram, the last uh, Tdap, the last flu, SHOT, uh, all that kind of stuff, all the maintenance stuff is what they call it, which is what the doctors get graded on. And um, I was telling Bryce this, this part of the stream this morning that I came back to me is that in this dream and it was so vivid um i was uh taking in a patient in the dream like i was you know where i was working prior to me being out of work and um i got into this part of the chart and um for the the thing going the, the thingy in the arm now it wasn't labeled that it was labeled beast mm -hmm. So I knew it was bad. And so what my point here is I tried telling a pastor because oh, yeah. I knew what that was. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. And then, you know, you second guess yourself. And it's almost like um, when you get that kind of reaction, it's almost like a subconscious gaslighting mm -hmm. because it's making you. It is gaslighting. It's 100 percent gaslighting. gaslighting. Yeah. I like it wasn't purposely done gaslighting because I don't think she meant any harm by it. I mean, she was very nice about it but in a sense it, it starts to make you double guess Yourself. am i accurate was i was i thinking of that correctly like did i remember that correctly right. and part of my journey in this whole thing is reclaiming my own spiritual spiritual sovereignty and knowing who i am and and taking back my own power and, and trusting that power and we all need to do that yeah if you hear the still small voice in your head yeah, you're probably getting a source talking to you, the you know universe talking to you. Yeah, just yeah. recognizing it, like Bryce, you said you heard that voice. I hear that voice sometimes too. Do it now, like get it done now. <laughs> I mean, y'all, when I said you, Taylor, I was I had done like my first meditation, <laughs> so I'm glad I wasn't like deeper into my practice because I would have looked like a hot mess. I've been sweaty and my hair would have looked like <laughs> Albert Einstein. But um, so I'm, I'm grateful that I hadn't gotten that sweaty. But yeah, it literally was I stood up and made the video because it, it is that you, you recognize that. And as long as that people are like, well, how do you know that's not, you know, demonic? I'm like, well, if it's not asking you to hurt anybody, mm -hmm. there's, no, there's nothing nefarious about it, what, what it's asking you to do. The devil's not going to make you warn people about something. Mm -mm. He's going to want you to just be deceived. And that's that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Well, ladies, y'all want to look at the cards to see like what this week is going to look like coming up. Um, yeah. what are we, they were at the 16th, right? Yeah. I was going to say, can you repeat like, like the dates you want everyone to kind of start doing this intention and setting their zero point that way they like know for sure, like exactly. And we'll definitely look at that too, but can so you just the, the 19th, which is right. Sunday is the full moon. Um, okay. that you'll have to check where you live in the world to see where the peak of the full moon actually is. But Taylor is correct. The full new moon, it, it kind of affects you for a few days. So it doesn't have to be, don't feel like you have to be like right at 1157 PM. Like, you know, it, the energy is, is, is expansive where it kind of weaves in a few days. And then we have the winter solstice on the 21st, which is the year mark of us entering in the age of Aquarius. So last year, 
12, 21, 2020, we entered into the age of Aquarius on the winter solstice. So now we know, we know that it takes like a couple of years for a timeline to shift totally. That's why it's so hectic right now. Um, so that's an important date for us. We're taking it back for the dark group, the bunch that was very important for them, but we're going to take it back. And then all the way up until the 25th, all those days, just have fun, laugh, love people because those are the darkest days of the year. And that's when they do their most destruction. Now, I think personally, a lot of them have been um, already anyway, yeah. but, um, but we've got some little minions running around. Like we have someone that's infiltrated. That's a little satanic minion. So we still have to continue to, to put out goodness and light yeah. love love your children hug them go go make cookies go play outside with them if you live in an area where you got snow go build a snowman like yeah you know just have fun and and and, and reclaim this time for the good for the light that's right and even by you guys like being here even though by us all setting our attention this is what like my team was making really clear to me is this is a catalyst like this can be your catalyst too for this moment so just just know that <laughs> We are the storm. We are the storm. We are the storm. There's a storm. <laughs> no, it's so funny. I think I said this to you ladies last night. When, when, when we first started following the military back channel and it was all like, oh, it's a movie. Watch the movie. I was like, well, this is going to be fun. We can just sit and watch. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 Realize that Buck, we have buckle the hell up. Yeah. This is about us. Yeah. Well, you've got, yeah. And look at the blindfolded too. Like stuff is going on under. There's something that's, that's dying a slow D E A T H. Okay. And I, I'm getting that shrinking of uh, entity in there, but I'm also getting uh, the shrinking of all those types of entities. Yes. This is us on the outside. We're a little confused about things. We're not sure where this is headed. It's kind of the fear of the unknown, a little bit of what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Like the three of cups. So that's, I mean, that's a good thing. I mean, if you look at them, they're celebrating oh, right. something. And uh, get the four of wands. I love the four of wands. Because <sighs> the four of wands is a celebratory card. Yeah. And the end of a cycle coming in through the portal is this new beginning, this new like full circle. Ooh. Putting something to rest is what I heard. Putting yeah. something to rest. And look, it's like the final sword too. Like the, like one more move, it. final one sword. One more, one more sword. And the rebirthing. You've dropped your yes. sword rebirthing coming out of that coffin. I want to affirm something that you just said that just like, I feel like I always want to affirm you because I literally get like, it's so funny. Like <laughs> she, you, I don't think you understand like the visions. Like, I don't think you understand how clear you, your channel is, but um, maybe you do now, but you, yes. I'm getting there. <laughs> yeah, no, you're doing wonderful. You're, you're incredible. Um, the one thing that I wanted to say from someone who's been in the astral since they were a child, like the astral is so much more clear than it used to be guys. <laughs> Like it's so much more clear. Now we're just dealing with like a lot of earth um, entities that may be taking bodies. Okay. I know that that probably sounds bad, the last but, battle. Yeah. but it's almost there. <laughs> yeah. I think that well, we, death card is saying the last battle too. Yeah. We know that entities do take battle, do take bodies. We know that they do. They, we know they shape shift. Um, but the good thing is about shape shifting from what I understand is they can't hold that shape no. forever. No, they can't, no, no. you know, I could sit in the room with you guys for hours and hours and hours and you're never going to see my body change. They have to go. They cannot hold that, that, that body. Um, again, that's why people were seeing this particular entity shape shifting on camera. Right. Some people couldn't see it, but some viewers actually did see this person shape shift. So that's, that's, um, that's a real thing. So use we your that discernment that when watching other people use your discernment. And, and Stephanie said something good too. Like if you feel drawn to watch someone, watch someone, but like take what you get, like take what feels good from it too. That's discernment. Yeah. Too. We love, we're all trying to figure this out. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. We're all trying to figure this out, but like, trust, trust your gut. Trust your yeah. gut. Yep. Absolutely. Take everything with a grain of salt and, and always like trust your gut. Yeah. You, if, if anybody's telling you to believe them exactly and to do it, then that's not. Exactly. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. No. That's not we all, okay. our brains all work differently. As some they should. things are going to resonate with us. Some things are not. That's where you just, you know, even when you're, you know, I think Bryce, 
you and I have been learning this too by watching a lot of these other tarot readers too that we see on YouTube. It's like one of the biggest things they say is take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And, and then I say don't force this <coughs> to work for you if it doesn't. Yes. Don't force it. Yeah. Because some part of the message is directly for you. Some part of it is not. You either maybe overcome that, that part of it or you're not going to have to deal with that part of it. Yeah, exactly. So what do the cards say about the week of this coming up week after the full moon? What, what is it going to look like for our, for a, generally speaking for our friends that are watching right now, what can they expect the week of Christmas, the week of the winter solstice? I just like tasted So sorry. I just tasted like a, like a snow, like a snowflake on my tongue and I'm in Florida. So <laughs> it was like, it was like enjoying it. It was like literally like savoring it. And like, even we can switch bus day. anytime, honey. You I don't know. like the snow. <laughs> I do. I will miss it though. I, I actually, there's, I've been, I've been having snow visions and the other vision I had a couple days ago before I met you guys was, um, this Christmas vision and I was eating all these treats and it wasn't like they were like delectable and they tasted good. And I was trying all of the treats and it was like this Narnia moment. Like it was, it was like, but I got to enjoy finally, it was like getting to enjoy the fruits of all the labor. That's kind of what, what my team was telling me. It was really blissful too. So it was like, try and find the bliss, even though out there it looks bonkers. Like what is your bliss to you? And of course it goes full circle to everything we've been we've been already talking about too. Yeah. That's beautiful though. The idea of like actually eating the fruits of your labor, like <laughs> gorgeous. I want my, I want my chocolates and crumpets. <laughs> Go ahead. Move forward stuff. Now I want to see. So the things that we see right now are temporary. I keep getting this card in this situation. Oh. This card always reminds me of like-minded people reuniting. Yeah. This is like, this might be talking about, did you get the same download I just got? I just got a hit. Yeah, I'll let you go first. <laughs> I feel like this is saying this is the divine feminine all coming together on what I was talking about. Interestingly enough, so we have disappointments right here, but we draw our sword. Also, I want to draw attention to uh, with the five of cups. One of my favorite things to do with that five of cups is if you look at put five of cups for me stuff so I can. Five of cups. The other one. Oh, five of cups. It's Where'd I have my five of cups? Oh, oh like five of cups. There it is. So look at how he's looking at all those disappointments. So this could be like, well, this didn't happen on this day. This hasn't happened yet. And I predicted it. And we get really caught up in that. Look behind him. He has two full cups to be grateful for. And he forgets about it. So that's our job right now is to find those little moments and find those cups to be grateful for too. But it doesn't mean you're not going to feel those cups. I'm like one of those. I'm one of those people that like, it feels like shit. It feels like shit and yeah. under and like, accept that. And it's okay that it feels like shit, but what can I do to alchemize it after I cry it out? After I throw my pillow, after I let that energy come forward, what do I do to alchemize it? Well, I find the little joys. I find the little things that do make me feel filled up, right? Cups are emotion. What fills me up? And it goes again. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm also thinking this is like soul family time. Like well, I, that's, that's, that's what I was saying in this. this yeah. Is what I was getting in this. This is soul family time. Family. Soul family time. Find your tribe and get together. Even if it's on a zoom. Yeah. Put yeah. your intentions out there. Manifest Ooh, what you want to see done. Manifest. Heck, all I want for Christmas is my dang EBS. <laughs> Low key. Saying it. We are, maybe we are the EBS. <laughs> we are the storm. We are the storm. <laughs> the white worker oracle real quick. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with your collective too was a vision I had back when I was in Missouri. And I think I had emailed this to Bryce whenever I was first trying to contact her. I don't know. And I actually emailed this to Mark Atwood too because it just came to fruition. You know how sometimes when you have visions like, you see them and you're like, why haven't they came to fruition yet? But it's like, I got tapped into something I saw like six-ish months ago. And I was standing in the middle of Missouri. And at this time, I felt like really alone, always being an empath and highly sensitive. I know a lot of you guys can relate with that, right? Um, but I call it the the black sheep, they want to call it, but I call it like the rainbow sheep. Like, I <laughs> love that. I'm, I'm that way, right? the rainbow sheep. Rainbow sheep. And I saw myself as this like pillar of light 
and we're all equal. I don't mean it in that way. It's just, I saw myself as this pillar of light and I was zoomed in on the map and I looked around like around me and I couldn't find anything else like me. Like it was like, I can't find it. I can't find it. And my, my higher self would zoom out. And I zoomed out a little bit and I looked in, in Missouri, there were like a couple other ones. And then they were like, keep going. And my higher self had me zoom out again. So I'm remote viewing a map and there's all these lights. And then I zoom out all over, all across. And there's so many lights. And I watched the entire connection solidify into this like rate, like that same uh, white light I'm talking about that, that Steph was talking about too, with like the rainbow, like hue to it all connected. And I knew this time was coming, but like, I actually like, I feel like it's finally coming to fruition too. Like all of us connecting uh, soul families and guys, remember you guys are ancient. Like you guys are ancient. <laughs> I know we found out just how old we are, man. When, um, when you were saying that, all I could think of was the Care Bears where their heart, the rainbow comes out of their, <laughs> their belly. <laughs> I keep thinking about Captain Planet. When our powers combine, I am Captain Planet. I love that. Um, you know, it's, we talk about, so yes, and, and that is why we're seeing this desperation of, we have, we've been finding our soul families. We've been finding people that we have soul contracts with. And that is why these last, yes, there we go. That is why these, these entities, these parasites have been trying to shatter us. But we're not no. going to let it happen because we're, we're stronger. We're better. And also like, I'm talking about these connections, but like, I'm also like family of light is also like, think about how, if you like, if you guys realize how many times you've incarnated onto earth, some of us other planets, like, obviously I'm sure everyone's noticed I'm not very earthly, but like, I also have a strong connection to earth, but like, we also have, it goes full circle to all the assistance we have, all the earth assistance, galactic assistance. And then also like, I have to be super transparent. Like, like we do have people on earth backing us too. Like, like we do have, that is a program that will help too. Like, I like to be really transparent about that. And you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, divine, divine intelligence. intelligence. Oh, Metatron. Metatron is uh, everything because my friend, so my friend actually tapped into this entity and she's incredible and she does pendulum work and she has a pendulum board and she actually got, so I, I shit your collective not, got Satan, 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 whenever she got her pendulum board when we were tapping into this energy. So and we're if, talking if about that tells you anything. <laughs> talking about the back of me, right? That's impersonating a, a woman in our group. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Fun, fun time, guys. Fun times. Like we said. It's biblical. Biblical. Biblical, yeah. Okay, so let me get real quick. Let me just get a sacred rebels because I feel like we're all the sacred rebels. Going back to my like sacred rebels, rainbow I love sheet it. thing. Let me get a sacred rebels for the collective. For the rebel alliance. Oh wow. Legacy of light. So this goes full circle to what Bryce was actually talking about. We have our little one inner child integrating with ourself, integrating with our ancient wisdom. Notice how she's crowned too. This is the connection to the crown as well, but also coming in as full and embodying all these aspects of yourself and realizing that you were incarnated on earth to be a part of this legacy of light. That is why you are here. That is why all of us are starting to again, come together and look at the connections we're making. I know she's got a little cakes out, but consciousness connections all of us and that goes back to the lovers the two of cups that energy that we were already seeing in the tarot too this energy of coming together with people that are not only like-minded but inner energetically like it's like it's home like I, I found oh my god I like found home on earth finally <laughs> that's how I feel <laughs> And that's encoded. That's something that's encoded in our DNA. Like that's right. what's encoded in us. Um, how powerful that is. <sighs> it's going to be, this is going to be nothing. This new world that we're, we shouldn't say new world. This new earth is going to be nothing like we've ever experienced before. Is it? Look how beautiful that is. Wow. The grid system too. We are the grid. We are the tower. We are the storm. What'd you get with it? Transformation. Transformation. I love butterflies too, by the way. Butterflies are very. And beautiful. heaven's door. 
And we're going to take butterflies back because they've misused butterflies know, my as butterfly. well as owls, as all that stuff they've misused. And we're taking it back because those and are spirit right. guides that come to me as a butterfly. I took that back a long time ago. Yeah. And owls, <laughs> owls are so, there's so much wisdom in an owl energy and, and it's, it sucks. It makes me so mad when they take shit like that because it means a, those things are things that mean a lot to me spiritually sometimes. Yeah. We're going to take it back. It's mine. Sure. They're ours. <laughs> you can't use that. You can't u- use them anymore. It's ours. Ours. What did you get? Um. Uh, what did you get for next week in your tarot? Let me look. We're talking about next week. What? So, like, what's gonna come? Kind of come from this? Yeah. What energy is coming from this? What comes from this? Can I share my uh my wand or uh, my wand, Taylor? What? My <laughs> my uh, chalice vision with the king of wands. I yeah, feel like yeah. that would be a good thing to share with people right now. So they have a little bit of that aspect of things too, because I know people are waiting on that aspect, right? Oh my gosh, guys. Yes. Coming into alignment with our own divine masculine and divine feminine. There's something I want to say when, when my team, so I wrote this down, liberation at the zero point, it merges the masculine and feminine feeling joy and liberated. It merges the masculine and feminine coming into alignment, merging that divine feminine back into the earth. And actually I feel like mother earth wants to want us to know that like she's assisting us too. like yeah. almost like some oh, of yeah. you guys who are really good at grid work or some of you guys who like to be on the earth, like putting your bare feet on the earth, maybe go outside and do like some sort of pulling in the energy too, yeah. because she she's ready and she's assisting. But look at this. This is collaboration. This is teamwork all coming together. That goes back to the consciousness. Oh my gosh. And then we have, um, obviously Leo energy, but strength, there's that Lyran energy that I've been talking about. Even if you don't have Lyran roots, it's that energy of feeling protected. Well, let's talk about the Lyran. I, had, I didn't know about the Lyran. That's where Lyran. Yeah. Lyrans are one of the first, um, oh, I like the Lotus awakening. Sorry, I had to pull another card out. No, no, no I like it. No, I like, this is how I live. I live for like people like tapping into this stuff. And I'm, no, I'm like, I think Bryce is, has this draw for information too. I'm like that with like people's Akashic records. <laughs> I'm like, tell me more. <laughs> We're all just nerds in different ways. But no, you but, told me, so you told me about the Lyran and that I didn't know I was Lyran, but that's the lion, which we believe is the, the um, tribe of Judah, which we're now starting to understand these 12 tribes of Israel are not actual earthbound tribes. They're galactic tribes. Who I else this download this morning? I was like, Oh my God, hold yeah. on a second. Sorry. I had to interrupt there. Cause I was like, it was a massive download that I got. I'm like, wait a second. They put in Israel in the Bible. It's not Israel. It's galactic families coming together yes. back together. But so that's the lion, the, the, the line of Judah, which is how Yahshua came about. But who else do we know is Lyra? Mr. T, right? Yes. And apparently we, we, we've met with him, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I don't remember Mr. T. <laughs> I also, I guess I wanted to affirm for some people too, like if you're not remembering your dreams right now, there's two things. One, you could be doing work and sometimes like they don't want you to see what you're doing as far as your mission because it could be tiring on top of trying to be a human right now. So remember your soul is busy at all times. And some of you might even notice that you're literally doing stuff while you're awake. Now you're like in a whole nut, like I call it the between between worlds uh, back and forth between dimensions. And that's a lot of why a lot of people are having physical stuff too. think about coming in and out yeah. through dimensions, multidimensional. It's really uncomfortable actually. Guys. I sometimes <laughs> go outside and I, I will actually, I'll be on the phone with somebody or I'll text somebody. I'm like, I don't even feel like I'm on earth right now. I'm looking yeah. and it looks familiar, but it's not familiar. And I am like, Am I in between dimensions or <laughs> is it the earth changing or is it both? Oh. Yeah. Cause I see the earth golden now. Like I go outside and it's golden. Even on a dark rainy day, I see gold. And, and I also wanted to say too, when I first saw Bryce, <laughs> 
friend, f- friend crush time. When I first saw Bryce, she had this like golden aura around her. And most beings come in for me, like, like galactic beings come in really silver. I get a lot of blues. I get a lot of greens, like, especially like light workers. Those are their normal colors. Um, I do see golden beings, but this was a little like, <laughs> like, are, are you guys, I said this last night. Are y'all sure that's not my ring light? Like, <laughs> girl, no, she no, no. And I saw, I saw you golden too. Yeah, What's I, golden? You know, that, it's like the golden, you know, the matrix, like how they have the code coming down. So I see in codes because that's one way that I can contact galactically. I can see codes. Um, but you had this golden code dripping down you the other day. And I finally got the download. I was like, all of our codes are coming together. And like, those are the keys is all of us are a little piece of puzzle too. like whatever we needed to bring together. We're bringing together and you guys out there are doing it in your groups too. And we are the tower. And I love that. It's Rapunzel, by the way, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> you have the hair, honey. You have the hair. <laughs> let down your Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. We're like, no, we're going to jump it's down. Funny we're talking about that. Pull it down. Oh my God. Pull it down. Let's, let's pull it down. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Let's see. So we, 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 we kind of know what's coming, coming into alignment with the masculine and feminine and use the earth as your assistance during this time. Is there anything else that you feel that you guys feel guided for the collective at this time? Or it, it could be you guys too, whatever you guys like feel needs to be. I want know, everybody there. to know um, because we are under such heavy spiritual attack that you have the power to deal with this. Yes, you do. You, yeah, you do. And even if that means doing what I did and having to take assistance from Palladians, um, which is these last two nights have been the most really bizarre things I've ever experienced. And um, I'm just so flabbergasted that they actually cared enough to help, but they will. And, um, and so even if you feel like you physically can't correct something, just ask for help. Exactly. They're going to help you. And what is that for you too? Like if a lot of you resonate with um, like Archangel Metatron or Archangel Michael or Archangel Raphael, like go there, right? If you resonate just with creator or Christ consciousness, go there. Like, what is that for you? But if you feel drawn to ask for galactic help from your galactic family, like they, they will too. Like you have so many, there's so much assistance. So do whichever path like resonates with you most. I understand not everyone's going to get the galactic thing, but it is something we have to talk about at this point because it's I coming. Mean, it's coming. Like it's, coming. it's, it is part of the bigger picture of things. Yeah. That's why, that's why we're bringing it in. And I'll tell, and I know I've probably said this on my channel before, before this whole great awakening, I wasn't really, um, an extraterrestrial person. Like mm-hmm. I believe they existed, but I was more focused on like what was happening with the ghost in my house. You know, like I was more focused on that kind of stuff. And this has been very new to me, but, but for me to say, okay, Palladians, cause Taylor was the one that said, they'll help you. Um, can you help me? And they, and they, they absolutely, they are the reason why I was the next, the first night it happened that next morning I woke up and I was actually able to eat breakfast. And then I ate lunch this for two weeks. Now I haven't been able to eat anything. Like my, my mouth wouldn't open, which was part of the spell. And so you, said you had a lump in your throat too, right? I had a lump in my throat. Um, they fixed that. I had a tracker in my neck that Taylor found. I'd had one put in my foot before weeks before, which got removed. They took the tracker out. There you go. They took the tracker out for me. And I, last night I sat on the edge of my bed after we got done with our zoom. And I just said to them, take me up again tonight. Help me, help me get my energy back. I need help. I need help recovering from this. I still need some help. And they did. Yeah. And, and I, and even, even the, just, even just the hurt of being a human and, and, and having people like shattered away from you because of this black magic, um, just feeling that pain, they also rocked me as well. Yeah. So it wasn't just the physical, it wasn't just the physical correcting of this black magic, but it was also the love to like, I just had a thought me. too, Bryce. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no, no. How we, we were talking with um, Cindy and Catherine about the Kali energy too. And what did Cindy say? Cindy says uh, Kali comes in like a like a bolt of fire almost, like but but she rocks you and um, it was like nurt- it was that rocking, you know, yeah, rocking you like a baby, like n- nurtures you and and uh, makes you feel loved. Yeah. So yeah. even though you're in this um, 
heavily in the spiritual W A R, you're still loved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and it gave me permission that that rocking gave me permission. Like it was okay to have your feelings. (coughs) Exactly. And it was okay okay to be held. It's okay. It's okay for once in your life. Like we've done so much guys We're we're allowed to ask for help. We're allowed. We are safe and sovereign. We can do all this by ourselves. but like, sometimes you just need to know that you're safe, nurtured and comforted. And sometimes we just, it's okay. It's, it's like so hard for us to like, accept that sometimes we need to be held and like nurtured too. Right. Yeah. We do it for ourselves and we should, but like, you do have assistance and love. And that, love. that nurturing, just that idea of rocking. It was almost like too, I was getting this message that like, you're not crazy. No. You've been attacked Yeah. You're very heavily. You, they, this, this entity tried to annihilate you in a very real way. Tried to t- literally take your life. And then that rocking was like, and it's okay. You're not crazy. This is what this did happen to you. And that was so just, I woke up just feeling so I felt actually really rejuvenated when I woke up and really ready to do this show. And, um, yeah, it's, it's there. And I told Taylor, like when we first started talking about, I was like, well, I don't want him to scare me. Like that's always my thing. I didn't want to remember. I didn't want to remember. The first night I did not want to remember. And, and, and I, I knew that it had worked because I woke up the next day. My neck was sore. Like I felt like someone had worked on my neck and I could eat. I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. My life force is coming back now. So um, you, you, and I, and I get that. Like, so if you're under spiritual attack, it does feel hopeless. It mm-hmm. does feel hopeless at times, especially if no, none of your people are like believing you. You know, it feels hopeless, but you're not alone. And if you need to contact any of us, we'll be glad to like talk to you because you're not alone. This is really real. Like this is super real. And it's been, I've been through uh, a situation and Bryce, I think I told you about this. Uh, It happened to me about nine years ago where I was living in a, in a very, very haunted apartment, a very demonically haunted apartment. And I legitimately couldn't open my mouth any either. And I was, I mean, I was heavier set at the time and I didn't need to dro- drop a couple pounds because my weight fluctuates like, like a yo-yo. Um, but I lost 45 pounds in three months and I looked so sickly. I looked anorexic. I've never looked anorexic in my entire life. And um, my energy was being stripped away from me. I, I couldn't function. I, I was a single mom and I could hardly even raise my kid. Yeah. And, and people looked at me like, oh, well, you're lazy. You're this, you're that. No, I literally was under spiritual uh, attack. Yeah. yeah. And it was, and I knew it was a demonic entity. And the moment I moved out of there, I was okay. And I could eat again. I think that's an important thing you said too, about the lazy thing. A lot of us light workers, I needed a lot of rest. Like that's my job here was astral work. Like that's, that's, I needed a lot of rest. And one of the things I noticed that was repeating in my trauma cycle was people thought I was lazy or people thought I slept a lot or there was, or that I was, I don't know. I just, it just always like hurt my feelings. I'm like, I'm not lazy. I promise I'm doing so much. And I just want to affirm for a lot of you guys, like you're doing more than you know, like yeah, energetically you too, you're doing more than yeah. you know. Yeah. Like lately, even too, with me, like I, I've had a very hard time keeping up with everything, being a mom, a wife, cleaning mm-hmm. the house, all that kind of stuff. No, but I'm not a gross person at all means, but I look at like, sometimes I look at like, but I, even just vacuuming one time and I'm like, I know for a fact I'm battling in my sleep. I know I'm going somewhere in my sleep. Yeah. Um, I've that's confirmed several times and I might be energetic throughout the day, but I'm not at the same time. So it's like, I, God removed me out of my job for a reason. It looked like a physical reason at first, but it wasn't, it was a spiritual reason. Yeah. Yeah. So I've had a lot of people look at me like, well, what are you doing? Are you earning money? Are you doing this? And no, it's this is literally a spiritual battle. Yeah. And I'm on the front lines of it with you guys. I know. T- turns out we're on the front line. Who knew? Who would have thunk? Who knew? Who who thunk? Knew? So, yeah, no, who knew? And, and but that's kind of exciting. I mean, at the end of the day, like I've said this before, you were picked to come here to earth mm-hmm. for this time. That's how pow- God put you here. I've heard Perhaps. people say. You are alive for a time such as this. 
Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And there's an Oracle card in one of your decks and it says uh, you've been training for lifetimes for this. And I feel like this is like actually I pulled really starting to come to fruition now. I don't know. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of bonkers. Deck? <laughs> yeah. This yeah. Deck? Work your light. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful deck. Beautiful I guess deck. we can leave off maybe with uh, one more card out of this. Do it. I'll tell you how I feel led. While you're shuffling and doing that, I'll just tell my Mr. T dream. So I was in this, like, it almost, it was kind of like a cabin bar. Like it would be, it's not, it wasn't like drinking, but it was like a cabin bar and there was fire and it was very like warm colored, like cliche, like cabin. And I sit at the bar and there's this giant chalice in front of me <laughs> and it has the King of Wands uh, etched onto it. And I'm laughing and I was feeling like pure joy and drinking out of my chalice. And I look a little bit to my right and there was another chalice with the King of Wands on it. And uh, Mr. T was uh, drinking and enjoying his chalice with me. So I don't know what that's telling us, but it was so cool. I was like, this guy, <laughs> this guy here, <laughs> apparently we know it. We all know each other. So Mr. T, cool. when, when I can remember meeting you, I will be very honored. So, That's so cool. Same. Align your life yes. and trust your niggle. Oh, we love the niggle feelings. That's your gut. Yep. Well, and that's, that's what I was gut. talking about in the beginning of this video. Trust your niggle. Like, trust <laughs> your gut feeling. Trust if you're getting sick after seeing somebody, if you physically get ill, stay away. Uh, if you feel rejuvenated, if you feel happy, if you feel like almost like a hyper feeling feelings of happiness and joy. Obviously they're part of, you know, they're part of your tribe or they're a good person. We, right. we react physically from what we see spiritually. Mm -hmm. Well, that then the align your life too. maybe aligning your life could also be really realizing who's draining you or who doesn't serve your highest good at this time too. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. It just means you, do, you are so worthy of equal <gasps> exchange relationships, right? With one more card guys. Sisterhood of the Rose. Yeah. Oh, oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Finally, it's like the sun comes out. This will there. It's like, it's just this too shall pass. Like that's literally what I just, this too shall pass guys. Oh my God. And, and what is it you kept telling me last night, Taylor? Cause I've been so distraught. You kept saying, this is just going to make you stronger. Oh my gosh. You it, kept saying that over and over again. Well, that's like every, so I've had to look at this protective of things of all the crap we've all been through. And you guys have been through a lot. I know you both have trauma, trauma wounds too. We, I mean, I bet, I bet everyone out there has really significant trauma wounds. We normally choose these really difficult situations. But for me, I just, I just felt like this was like the last, like the last, I, I'm not even kidding guys. I got emotional last night when they closed my book and stuff like that. Like when I put down my sword, I was like, this is my last thing. Like, this is, this is it. So even though this sucks and it's making you feel like crap, like you, you are strong enough to do this. A soul, like you don't do these things unless you can handle it and, yeah. and you will come out of it. Like the sun, you will come out of it stronger. You will come out of it ready. It's almost like, right. Like what I'm hearing is like ready, ready for your next mission. Like, whoa, like ready for your next mission. Oh, Lord, it's going to be even more <laughs> bigger and beautiful. It'll be beautiful. I promise. Yeah. It'll be, it's going to be, beautiful and then nice. yeah and then to get to circle back to what we were i hate to say circle back now but back to back to i ain't no circle back girl um, <laughs> back to what we were talking about in the beginning um you know what was meant to what this this parasite meant to do to basically steal my identity and annihilate me ended up informing me of who <laughs> i really am yeah and gave me more power Love what it. the devil will make for for bad god will use for good and even though it still sucks right now, yeah, it does. I'm getting stronger because, you know, I, what I got, we got on Zoom last night. I was like, this bitch. I was like, yeah, this bitch. I'm like, hey, Bryce. <laughs> I was like, this bitch still my stuff. See me. Well, I got, I got to the point too when I started to con like get, be like around the entity because it was staring at me. I was like, I'm not even going to give it the, the power to call it a woman either. Like, I, I was just like, it. Like it, it, I don't know. That. Yeah, it's, what am it's, I supposed it's to call you? Laugh at that. Yeah. So, oh, guys, I'm just gonna finish with this because look at the heart center in the crystalline palace inside of his head too. Invitation connect. These beings who are willing to wow. connect with you for your highest good. Do you know where it starts? It's because you guys have like 
I don't want to say like special heart centers, but it's so it's, it's this energy of like, when you radiate the love, the pure photonic love of source and which could be Christ consciousness too. However, it resonates with everyone. All of us resonate in a different way, but it's, it's almost like these beings, they want to assist you and they want to help you. But like, if you feel guided to guys, they're ready. Like, it's like, if you guys are waiting for your soul family, like you don't, you don't have to anymore. They're I'm hearing like closer than you think, like closer than you think now. Right. Like finally, yeah. You guys, I have UFOs over my house every <laughs> night. They're par- they're parked up there. They're parked, and then they follow me to the store and back. I can't because <laughs> I specifically said I want to know my galactic soul, uh, soul family. Hello. They're yeah, right, asking right you there. shall receive, seeking you shall yeah. find, knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. Uh, yep. Well, guys, this has been so fun. I feel like this is definitely a battle cry. I really want to do this again. And I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, I wonder if we could do this as like a live show. That'd be fun. And I wonder yeah. if I could call a number. I'll have to figure out how to do that to have people actually call in. Oh, I need to pick people's. I'm so I'm bad at tech. Bad at tech. <laughs> I, I think that's my, we, that's, we need a tech savvy person. That's why, because we're old souls and we're like, yeah. this. <laughs> that's what I said before. I was like, what is this earth technology? The tarot cards? Yes, I'll learn the tarot cards. Computers? What the hell is a computer? I mean, like, I'm still trying to figure out Twitter. Yeah, really sure. And thank you guys for being patient with me on Twitter <laughs> because I still don't really understand what thread is. So, um, forgive me. Um, I'm a granny, so <laughs> apparently with my soul. So just be patient. I'm not even going to get into Snapchat and TikTok because I, um, but I, mean, I can't even update my phone. I don't even know how to update my oh, phone. Oh yeah, yeah. Either. So, um, so I go to do it and my cloud is full. <laughs> what is want- this cloud? That's not a ship cloud. That's no. me always. I'm like that cloud of ship. <laughs> <laughs> I think that too. I have so many photos on my phone that literally look like ships. Yeah. And then, and then I settle with the lighting and then I find out it is a ship. Yeah. I, I was going to say too, before you guys go, um, just go ahead and solid, let's go ahead and like solidify our intentions and then the zero point thing, yep. plus what you're talking about, about these rituals and us taking it back. So however we need to like finish this so that the collective understands like yep. kind of our call to action right now. So too. why don't you do the call to action with the zero point, finding your joy. Okay. You want to talk about that? Just to solidify it for him. Yeah, for Maybe. sure. You. So, yeah, yeah. Well, Steph, I would like you to go ahead and like say the like the dates and stuff and what you were seeing with um, the Heart Center too, and the Divine Feminine Gathering. So go ahead and. So the Divine Feminine Gathering, um, <clears throat> an email will be going out um, for a Zoom invite. Um, I'm gonna interrupt you real quick. If you if you're not on that, I'm gonna put Stephanie's email in the description box below. If you if you're not on the list and you want to be a part of this, I'm going to put that in the description box below for anybody watching. Thank you. And I'll do the same thing on my channel too. Once I upload this, cause I'm going to upload this ASAP same. on my yeah. channel as well. Um, so anyways, um, an invite will be sent to divine feminine. You will need your mic on, you will need your camera on. So I know you're not baffling. That's number one. Okay. Um, if this is going to be some point on I think Saturday we decided or Sunday one of the two days during the full moon um because the way I looked at it is and I was was getting a lot of downloads that we need to do this during the full moon because the darkness used to use the full moon for their own advantage we're going to take that back and um we're going to reverse the curse of the of this baphomet we're going to reverse the curse of the evil that is still on the earth plane right now We are the tower card. So if you want to join that and be a part of something very biblical, which it is, I got confirmation in my cards along with uh, these two wonderful ladies have confirmed that for me as well. Um, Then please email the group email and I will send that invite out. We need at least 10 people according to my um, pendulum reading that I did. And um, you got seven on your cards, I believe. So um, (laughs) the way I look at an area. 10, yeah. 10 are ending, so the, we need to put in our intentions during this whole thing. And I'm going to organize it and everything in the next couple of days. So just stay tuned. Email me. I already have a bunch of people on my list for this. I think we already have over 10 people. But you know what? Let's yeah, just do of course. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. If mm-hmm. you can't make this, if you're not available, and you have a bunch of other like-minded 
or your woman too, you can do this on your own too. All you need is a Zoom uh, app. And I think we just need to do this across the world. Yeah. So, um, cause there's different time zones. So if you're in Australia and you have a group of people who you think want to reverse a curse in Australia, do it. Um, and if you just want to join us in America and do it and you're in Australia, great. Tamara, not Tamara, Tamara. Oh my God. I had a boss named Tamara. So I always say Tamara. Tamara, Medina, uh, our friend yeah. Medina. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be wonderful if they joined, but I know their time zone is a little, yeah, that's a lot a little different current. than ours. They can do their own too. That's fine. Um, so I, I got, this is very biblical, this, this particular meeting. So, um, yeah, I, I know I'm ranting on about this cause I'm extremely excited no, it's, about it's, it. Well, it's important too. And if, if you feel that guided to be talking about it in this way, then like it goes full circle to trusting your gut. And again, I want to affirm for those of you who like can't do it. It's okay. You're setting your intentions now. Get to your zero point. I'm telling you, zero point's the key. That's all I got last night. So even if you can't do that, obviously we would love to all gather as much as we can. That's important too, energetically, because we're we're more powerful when we do that. But just by setting your intention and putting yourself at that zero point and declaring our sovereignty, that's going to make a difference too. And those of you who are really good at like earth work too um get your get your feet on the ground too like those of you who really connect with the earth too I, I that's just something I was getting hit with too because she she's gonna help us too right yeah for sure for yeah. sure she's she's pissed too <laughs> she's ready she's yeah. she she's ready yeah and as uh the, the gospel of Mary Magdalene talks about the wisdom of the wrathful person and so we have to take that anger and use it to heal and to mm-hmm. right some wrongs and so so I'm super excited about this. Yeah, let, let me know, guys, if you want to do like a call-in show with Taylor and Stephanie, I'll have to like figure out how to do that. Um, if you know how to do that, shoot me an email. <laughs> I don't know. Another idea is having uh, somebody in the chat um, taking questions from the chat. Oh. Too. Yeah, I, I kind of like the call-in show, though. I kind of like being able to actually like hear people's voice and like talk to people. Um, I might have to get StreamYard to do that. I think on StreamYard, people can actually like pop in if they need, like you can send a link and people can pop in. So um, I'll, I'll have to look, I'll have to, I'll have to play with that. But if that's something you guys <laughs> want to do, then, um, then let's do it. Let's, I'm putting it out there. Palladians, whoever's listening, like show me how to do this. If we're going to do this, teach me how to do this. So if you guys are driving spaceships, you obviously know how to do this. <laughs> your ways so I love Bryce, gets, I love Bryce gets taken up at night and they're like sitting there with her and they're like okay Bryce this is how you do this this is how you turn the computer on <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, how you use a mouse I know right <laughs> this is now do you remember your password <laughs> okay well we have nope. to figure that out again so um so all right guys well thank you so much everybody uh this weekend's gonna be a little bit weird for the channel because as you guys know obviously i've been through a lot so there's not gonna be a monday mystery we're probably gonna do something else but we'll get back to our monday mysteries as soon as all this these shenanigans are complete i will be back on with aquarius rising africa on monday as well uh with shanti and mornay so that will be fun and exciting so i'll keep you guys posted with other shows i'm gonna put both taylor's channel and stephanie's channel down in the description box below we've been blowing up stephanie's channel let's go ahead and blow up taylor's channel too because she is such a warrior and such a divine she's a real divine not a distorted divine feminine she's a real divine feminine in this battle so um let's all connect and keep every everybody supported on this journey journey so all right friends we will i'll talk to you later bye guys be safe bye bye